you with At Home With Ashley and today I am taking an anthropology candlestick which is so cute it's the flora it's a little bit expensive so I thought I could make my own with some paper mache so I got these candlesticks I found them at the thrift store I already had these ones on hand um so you can go to the thrift store for this or like any home decor store to get any candlesticks you want and then we're gonna add leaves on it and make it look like those adorable anthropology ones and this look of paper mache on like candlesticks or sconces or light fixtures is a very high-end look because it's made by artisans, but honestly, you can make it too. So I'm gonna show you how. Here's our supplies for this project. A variety of candlesticks. Most of these I just found at the thrift store. These I already had on hand. Um, I have some rainbow colored candlesticks to kind of finish it off fun. Cardstock, masking tape, and newspaper. The first thing we're gonna do is make paper mache, which is essentially mixing two parts water to one part flour. So we'll pour that in there and then stir. If you hate the smell of paper mache like I do, add some cinnamon and this will smell amazing. Now it's time to cut. So I figure the tall one will need 15 leaves, the medium size probably 13, and the little guys um, 11. So I, I think that's like kind of on the higher side, but I'd rather make too many than not enough. And what I'm just gonna do is draw a leaf shape on a piece of paper and cut it out. I cut out a variety of leaf sizes, some big, some small, so I could do smaller on the top and work my way to bigger at the bottom. So the next step we're gonna do is we're just taking this newspaper, which I actually got at the dollar store, and I'm cutting it into smaller strips. And that way, this is what we're gonna dip in the paper mache, and this will cover the candlestick. And this is really what's gonna take it from looking like a candlestick with, you know, stuff taped on it to having a form. So I'm just gotta cut these in strips, super easy. We have our candlestick, we have all of our little cardstock cut out, and now we're gonna start taping it to the front the base so i'm just using masking tape and i'm trying to go smallest to biggest and then when you put one leaf on on the other side you put another one um so that's kind of how the anthropology one went i'm trying to make it look similar it's <laughs> i'm a little nervous um but yeah Right now it's just cardstock and masking tape, which looks really lame, but that's how um, paper mache goes. It looks really stupid until it's done and you're like, oh wow, I actually have something. Then you just continue taping on the leaves. This is a little bit of a tedious process, but honestly, it's so beginner level. Anybody can do this. Um, tape on the leaf, one piece of tape on each side, do two leaves on each side of the candles, or one on each side of the candlestick so they come in pairs and work from the top to the bottom. We are now to the paper mache part of this project. So take the strips of newspaper and I cut them a little long and then you're just gonna smooth them, well, smooth them on. and just continue. The leaves are the hardest part, so you kind of have to just push them over and shape them to the leaf shape. And there's lots of like different spots and it takes a long time, but you just keep going one leaf at a time. So you just dip the newspaper in the paper mache paste and then put it on the leaves, the candlestick, cover it up. This takes forever, but it's gonna look so good. These have now dried overnight and they still don't look great, but I think paint will help them. So I'm going to use some chalk paint, and this will be a fast step, but I'm just going to cover all of the newspaper, everything with paint, and already that's looking better, right? Okay, I said this is fast, but it's really not. It takes a while to get in all those cracks and crevices, but look how it looks already. So good. And here's the after of the floral candlesticks after they have dried and I did a few coats. Aren't they so pretty? I am totally obsessed. Let me know in the comments how you think it turned out. I think you could make this. So if it's something that you would love in your house, this really sculptural piece, I think you should try it. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll link my blog post that will have more detailed tutorial. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would love that. And please subscribe. Thank you.